Well, I hope you got 10 minutes, and I hope you got your coffee, because you're going to see what G. Rathbun's up to today, for sure. And what am I up to today? Well, this is used, as you know. Well, if it's used, probably I ought to look in there and see uh, how everything sits around. This is a V10, which is not nothing a motor I would choose, but it's what they put in them. And uh, I'm just checking it out, see what it looks like. And it uh, looks like it has a little bit of a transmission blowback thing there. But, it, you know, with that kind of miles on it, no big deal. Let's run into the shop for a minute, and I'll show you what we got going before I walked out to this little uh, motorhome. Take a look at this. Yeah, some other supplies I needed. Got needed some more work gloves. Uh, it's, it's amazing how fast them go when you're using a grinder. <laughs> yeah, I should use the heavier duty ones. But like I said, we got our paint, a little paint to stick on the, you know, in the cabinets. Because I need, always need black, always going to need white. And I was out. So, and I also got these. And uh, I'm going to show you where these go. I'm not going to show you how to hook them up. It's pretty damn simple. You, you cut a hole in the dash or in wherever you're going to put it. Sit that in it. Back that nut up to it. You can see that nut right there. That comes off. Tighten that up against there and then plug these wires in to hot and cold. Hot and cold. Or hot and ground. Whatever you want to call it. That's all you do. And then you got uh, uh, got them hooked up. Now, and I'll show you where, I'm put, where I put them and why I put them there. Uh, in an upcoming clip. Don't know when, but when I get her done. Look! Who's there? It's Vicky! Say hi, Vicky! Hi, Vicky. Yeah, that's my <laughs> wife. What a cutie. Anyway, got a new bucket, too, guys. Here we go. Stay tuned. Well, what I'm really looking for under here, and I had to get the this part off, and that part off, just to get into here, is I'm looking for some wires so I can hook up this uh, cigarette lighter right back there because I want to put it in this hole because I want it switched these are hot that's hot and then there's a hot one in here they're hot all the time right there well I don't want one hot all the time I mean they're okay but I want one that's switched so when you turn the key off it goes off so you can run your GPS or whatever, and it'll hook right up to it. And you turn the key off, GPS goes off. Doesn't stay on all the time. So anyway, that's what we're looking for under here right now. And uh, that's the beginning of this video. Some other things are happening too. Let me go show you them. Hang on here. Next clip coming up right now. Well, we got this all put back together. I didn't put that one in there. Because I couldn't find one that was a wire that was switched. So, and we still got the others. So, I might pull it. Wasn't that hard? You only got the snap there, there, and on the other side. And then this lifts right off. And then you can get into there. But I couldn't find any switched wires. I'm going to have to get a better wire tester, I think. So, uh, anyway, that's all we're going to do on that for now. I got plenty of plugins cigarette lighters in there I'll just turn it off I guess if I don't want it on but I'm calling this a day and uh, let's go put a video together for you guys <laughs> another day and I thought I'd show you where I'm gonna put this plug in right here she's gonna go right there I'm gonna drill a hole with this like so then we'll just stick this in here, wire it up. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. No, you've seen how to drill, don't you? You guys know how to drill, don't you? Yeah, I thought you might. Okay, I'm going to drill a hole. Well, there it is, guys. It's all installed. Opens up. Put your plugger in there. Uh, and then you can lay your device up here, charge it up, whatever you want to do. Right up there. Uh... I got a question. One of the reasons this is in here, oh, fall down. I still got this thing in here. Uh, one of the reasons that this is in here 
is because Cool Whip said that he would like to have a place to charge up his stuff out at Sturgis. So uh, uh, we'll get a, a bank and fix it up so they can charge up the cameras and stuff in here. But my question to you guys is, uh, what do you think is going to give me the best fuel mileage? Towing that or towing this? We're talking to Willie and he thinks that this one would get good mileage because it's aerodynamic. I don't know how much more it weighs. I would guess quite a bit more. Uh, give me some comments, guys, on that so we know which one we want to take to Sturgis. Because if that one's going to save me a lot of gas mileage, I guess old Cool Whip's out of luck, ain't he? <laughs> well, he can always charge off that. That little thing right there. Still working on that. Going to go through the front end today, I think. But uh, that's that for that. Uh, I got to put one of those in the, one of these little deals. I'm going to put it in the RV there. Uh, you seen me try that. I couldn't find a place to plug it in, but uh, I pulled up some schematics, and I think maybe I figured it out now. So, but that's uh, the old camper, 12 volt cigarette lighter in. Okay. Well, we took that all apart again. Uh, looking for that. Uh, where? Where's my schematic thing? I got all kinds of schematic things on that. And uh, it's supposed to be a fuse. It even says fuse box, fuse box right there. I pulled that apart. I can't find no fuse box at all. If there is one, it's way up in there. And why would they do that? If you have a blown fuse, you don't want to have to tear the whole dash apart to get it. But couldn't find it. Couldn't find a switched wire again. So what I've done... Is I went ahead and installed it. It's there. You can see it right there. And the wires are right down. Probably you can see them laying there. Coiled up. Ready. If I ever find it. I couldn't even get to the wires on the back of that. Uh, I was thinking about hooking them right into the radio wires. But I can't. I don't know how to pull the wire. It's st uh, stereo out. It takes a special tool or something. I don't know. I didn't do it. I ain't going to do it. Uh, I blew one fuse trying to figure out things, so got the hood up. I'm waiting for uh, some fuses. I uh, found them, found half the fuse, well, found a fuse block outside, but I didn't find the one underneath there. I don't, I can't see it. I should have took a picture of it. If you see one under there, you're better than me, because I've searched two days now. I can't find it. But this is all back together. All I got to do is find a... And I don't care where I find a switched wire, hot switched wire. I can find it underneath the hood. I can run it to here. But I can't find one nowhere. Uh, I've even tried to tap into the uh, switches here that would go off and on with the uh, uh, motor. Not, I couldn't get them to work. Not the way I want to. I don't know. But that's it for the... Uh, this part of the uh, installing the cigarette lighters. They're both installed. That one over there will work. Back there. It'll work as soon as I get a battery. Uh, I'm going to pull the battery out of here and put a fresh one in here. And then put this one over there. Then that'll be ready to go too. But that's it. That's all I can tell you about putting that in. If you guys got any ideas, you let me know. But I'll tell you what. I am guarantee them tires don't have enough air in them. That will be changed. I'm going to, I'll check all the tires for air. But right now I'm going to crawl underneath that thing. And we're going to uh, check for uh, lube. Lube it all up. Grease the joints. Uh, this tire looks better than the other one. Huh. She said she put new tires on there before she sold it to me. She sure didn't do it on the back. Ah, them don't look like it on the front. Here's something you guys don't maybe don't know. If you got dualies back here and you put one new one on there, that will almost, you won't believe how fast it'll wear out to get down to the even with the other one. Uh, I put a new one on that trailer on just one axle on one side. 
And by the time I got back from Yuma, it, it was worn down just like the others. So it was just a waste of a new tire. But that don't look too bad there. That one don't. And I, she's got a brand new one in back. But I'm going to crawl under there. Yeah, this one's... That one ain't nothing compared to the other one. We may do some swapping there. But uh, let's crawl under here and do some lubing. And uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. This is the end of this video. Yep, she's on the ground. She's uh, lubed. <laughs> there was a total of four places to squirt grease in that thing. I like the way they build stuff now. Throw it away. Buy another one. But she's done for that. I thought I was all done until Vicky came out and she goes, Hey, you got to build something in the middle for Hank to sit on. So that'll be in the next video, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel and all the nice comments you guys send me. I uh, really appreciate that. We're out of here.